Hey everyone. So I'm going to cover, and you're probably asking why I cover, why I'm covering this. Um, in my September predictions, I said the veil is very thin between the good and evil, and I don't know, or the good and the bad. And I don't know, I meant it in a wide perspective, but also I knew things was coming up. So I mentioned Daniel Khalifa will be uh, caught very soon. He was caught the next day. Um, and I mentioned about the fear amount that was being drilled outside um, into the public. And yes, we do need to be careful, but don't forget there's accusations here. He's due for trial and don't let it get to you like there's a massive serial killer on the loose. And funny enough, I don't know if you saw the updates after he was caught. Um, it was kind of like, I saw one, it was like he was caught. Um, and the I think it was the ex-Met investigator or high up was like, don't forget, we need to give this person a fair trial. Don't be accusing. And it was, like I said, just be aware, but don't think he's going to be going around being a killer. Um, because I felt more likely if he'd, he's obviously not abided by the code of conduct he had to with, in terms of information that he got hold of in the army. Whether he was going to use it himself or give it to someone else, which I feel was probably the second thing in terms of more so for selling as opposed to something else and someone being probably immature on the risks that this can do if it's if it's more and I don't think it was actually for terrorism like suicide bombings and like has happened in the central London etc more probably selling it to um, dangerous countries or something or you know just misusing it um, and not realizing what impact this can probably have now what was interesting i don't know what his background is but they seem to think if so it would be iran and maybe that's because his background but maybe it's also because of um that country being quite powerful and um one of the countries that a lot of countries do fear because um i think the ruler of it the ruling of it will not is a bit unpredictable let's put it so post that also it got out that on the wednesday there was a stabbing at wandsworth prison now <clears throat> there was another prisoner or something not in the uk In the US and we still have Rachel Moran's killer on the loose in the US probably mentioned this in another video but I might just hashtag Rachel Moran so that they need to be and I think it's about a month and a week I mentioned in the September predictions that I think he uh, I don't think he was someone on the trail just looking for a victim to target. I think he targeted her specifically. I, did, I think they had um, probably exchange in some way um, of communication prior to that day or something like that. Okay, without going into it too deep because I'm not covering it. But I think they need to look more towards a bridge water area and also probably a bit more underground. Um, then we had, not long after, in the UK, Danielle Khalifa, we had Daniello, interesting, D-D, Daniello Cavalacante, a Brazilian prisoner escaped Chester County Prison in Pennsylvania, and I believe today would be day 14, because I saw it like four days ago um, and this is what I meant about 
evil versus good, etc. The veil is very thin. And I also meant about crime cases. I'm going to go into this in this probably another update, making them a bit short um, because there was other variations and confirmations of what I predicted already coming out from the next day. So if you want that, let me know in the comments. You're probably thinking, why am I covering this? Probably because the good versus the evil. And also, I'm not going to be, um, obviously, there's not channeling, but there might be a bit of mind prop because the person's still alive. We can pull a few tarot cards at the end of it and see what happens. But if you're aware of the case, I was going to do, I was going to ask yesterday, but I didn't have time um, if you want me to cover this with a couple of other cases. So I'm going to probably do a little short video on that and post it for you to check. Um, and also what I'm preparing to do on as well, you have to guess that one. The reason I went quiet is because I'm going to say this in my update rather than, you know, filtering um, through different stuff when we're looking at this guy. 14 days on the loose and he is someone, he's 34 years old, I believe. He's led down a path of, um, he's a convict, he's staged the during, oh, the escape of the prison wall climbing. I'm going to enter um, a little clip of that and some pictures so that I can discuss energy around that. And it was on the 31st of August, these are my notes I've taken, you know, sort of climbing up the wall. And then they said there was a double wire roof. But I can't understand that and I don't know if, if there was like a gap between one of the walls he was sort of crab climbing up um, and he's been I think in the past he was convicted of probably doing something similar to this um, in Brazil and I don't know if he escaped to prison but he or he was on the loose but he was hiding I found this a bit funny he was hanging out the words the words I saw when I did a little prod into investigation he was hanging out in the woods when he, when he escaped I mean, I don't mean to be laughing, but hanging out in the woods, you could say, you know, he was hiding out in the woods. I just found that that was kind of a strange word. But unlike like Daniel Khalif, this person is a risk because I feel his energy very volatile. Um, a lot of people that, you know, you will hear from people that channel or shamans, uh, energy healers like myself that people do change um, I've been to Wandsworth prison for work I'll probably go into that into another video so that I don't mix everything up um, and the other thing I found interesting was Chester County prison and then Lucy let be Chester area like this repetitive things even if it's just one single word, things are repeating that are tying into, you can find words that are tying into different cases. Um, so he he's wanted, he basically murdered his girlfriend in 2021. This was in front of, I think, the children. And he then went to prison, escaped Chester County Prison, Pennsylvania on 31st of August, 14 days on the run. Um, before I go into it further, because I'm more likely to keep talking, check this little clip out of him escaping and a couple of pictures that I've entered in there, and then we'll come back to discuss.
I know there's a lot of people that are probably <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because I have a client who sent me a clip um, if you've been following my work and you're a subscriber you know that I don't like to watch other stuff so that I come from a neutral part and when I do my readings I take you on a journey with me I purposely ask you to follow all the parts because I try to neutralize your ego and also take you from a fresh perspective for us to dive into it and even before like a part where I give you my two cents I already have a two cents on it um, but it's kind of taking you through through that journey and sometimes I'm uneasy with energies of accusing a person who obviously could be innocent maybe I think something but you know I don't like to put people in a negative manner okay or think of someone negative but we do have those things out there so you'll find that I'm very reluctant to actually say I think x person was involved um until it like just gets so bottled up and then it'll be obviously from my perspective allegedly everyone's innocent until proven guilty etc but if it's a place um, or if it's kind of an object or if it is the victim or the person I'm channeling, like I'm, there's two main cases going on for me, um, then I will directly say it because it's a place, it's an object, um, etc. So you saw how he climbed up, um, very interesting. I couldn't understand if there's, a, they said that they'd put a double wire because in 2019, I believe someone, a prisoner had escaped uh, through the wire, pushing themselves through the wire. So what I think is, it's they're pushing the wire and making a gap as opposed to firstly, when I heard it, I thought pushing through the wire and then it's double wire since that prisoner escaped which sounds like it's a bit difficult to believe that. Um, so I think that's what's maybe happened. Now, if you look at him as he's walking, he looks back at the camera. Now, whether he's thought of this before, which could be highly likely in his energy, but I also feel like he's not thought of it over days i feel like he if he did it was earlier that day or the day before and it's kind of like go for it um all the same time you know he's like suddenly got the thought and if you look back he looks back at the camera and one of his hands his right hand is tucked in the other one's swinging there is a bit of protection mode there and um but i felt there was a lot there was impulse like i've got to do that without too much thinking he he looks back at the camera and he's like go for it like even the wall just seemed to be the right fit for his height <laughs> um but i might i mean i must feel with the people of that area because it's scary like to have someone on the loose like I don't know if some of you like if you're from the UK you remember like at different times depending on when you was born and when you you know sort of the different serial murder killers that were on the loose or like uh, if up north you're from up north there was also uh, Balaclava Man and all these different um, different ones and then there was also uh, I forgot the reference, um, the one that's in the dark coat with the hat. Um, I forgot the reference of him. Oh. Um, anyway, so, you know, there's always these... I don't know where I was going with that. I've just lost my trail. Um... Yeah, it's very fear. There's a lot of fear around it. It's fear, it can be very frightening. Um, but for me, it's like, 
what gets me about this is that they've had several sightings and I know a lot of people on YouTube and this is what I was going to get to where I started to laugh because um, a client of mine had sent me um, a video of someone covering it but they do cover other cases and you know it's really about who speaks to you so she was like can you be a bit more like this and she was joking obviously because I couldn't but the, the individual took about half an hour to get into the topic it was like hi guys and then putting the stuff on the table and then I've got my coffee and la 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 and I don't know probably the cats here um, and then eventually it got into it and I know a lot of people are just taking tapping into the live coverage and streaming it which helps um, but I think you know there's something about making sure you're coming from a place of service making sure you're coming from a place of heart and I've also seen where after I put up Nicola Bully, um, because a, f a friend actually sent it to me, that a couple of um, channels had then taken the I a couple of the ideas that I put on Nicola Bully's part seven. And one of it's about control and stuff like that. Um, and I think we all need to work together as a community as opposed to take other people's content. You know, I just think that's wrong. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of diversion in this reading from Daniello. And I, um, probably because I've wanted to speak our, a little update, but hey ho, and no, I cannot pace myself to be, um, it's annoying for you if you're if you're logging on to see uh, something in particular and someone's taking oh this is not working or oh, did you know my door broke or oh, did you know this unless it's a live stream and some members and a community well some people do like it so I've seen that it's interesting I picked up the tarot um, as if it wants to talk even though I was waiting to finish my energy check-in on the pictures very scattered energy so I feel like he is starting to get very scattered um, I do feel like when I look at the pictures call to split the deck chariot moving forward he's on the run he's moving forward um, I think he had hired got a van and, and um, he's on the run and I think you know he had got a van and then he abandoned it in the early days but i think it's likely that he's got another one and he's moving forward interesting endings which is interesting that card came up because there's a question i was going to ask actually anyway if we look at him as he's escaping he's if you look at his right hand as soon as you see it you think okay has he got something in his hand but he hasn't and he just goes for it Obviously, the guard of the tower or the prison has apparently been sacked after that. But what I don't understand, it's 14 days. And on the 10th day, I heard it was like there's several sightings. I don't know if any of the tower readers are covering, but there's a lot of people that are covering. And I suspect those that do or want, you know, more coverage are covering via the lives. But... Um, I'm just tying it in with what I said about the good versus the evil right now. Um, it, the veil is very thin and you can see that because, uh, I don't know, do we, we don't really hear much about prisoners escaping prison. Um, and it's not, it is scary. So I feel for the people in that area what are the police doing that's what again like what in Nicola Bully's uh part I was like what's the point what's the point and I don't think I made it clear but what is the point of police what is the point of our safe haven frameworks if we're not getting that this person has been see seen several times I don't understand how they cannot get him and he's seen in the area 14 days 
I don't understand that at all. I mean, in England, when every time Daniel Khalif was spotted, the police were at that place. And I knew that he would, a lot of people said he would have, that it's likely that he's already gone, he's gone to Iran, um, he's out of the area, etc. Um, I mentioned that he's just going to try and stay as much as he can undercover. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll get into the energy of Daniello, but, so, you know, cited multiple times. Um, he did steal a van and then he abandoned it, probably further in the area or something. Now we're on day 14. So in the comments, do you think he's going to be caught? And do you think he's going to be, um, and what, when do you think he's going to be caught? Um, like I said, it's not his first escape. He escaped and he was, I'm going to use hiding out because hanging out to me just like, I was like, hanging out. Um, what do you have in some Ribena or something? In the woods and, um, so he's familiar of, oh look. So this is my tarot cards, all that place. And then I noticed this orange one, this orange one as well, that way, which is um, forward movement. We've got the chariot, forward movement. But this is actually, you've put a plan and you're moving forward on your plan. Um, you've just taken a moment for some foresight to think into things, to move forward um, and um, yeah, just kind of moving forward. And then the other one, the ace is kind of like, um, again, it's moving forward and the urgency to move forward in order to um, follow your gut as well. So a lot of that is probably the energy he's currently in, seeing as those cards have turned for some reason. Um, now, if we look at some of the pictures, obviously you see in interesting 11.11 as I look at my clock, you will see that he had... Um, uh, in the woods, he wasn't really hiding, you know? Um, and it's interesting he had camera in the woods um, and he was just like he knew there was a camera there um, he'd looked and um, his previous escape probably made him know what to uh, kind of do after he's left even if he didn't make planning we'll pull some cards I don't even know if I've completed full sentences on some of the set things that I've said. Like, for example, um, can I be someone who's a bit more slow paced and take about half an hour to get into the main content? Um, he changed his look quite fast. In the picture wearing the green hoodie and the green cap, I think it is, um, he's shaved. He does look very different. Now, the green hoodie and the green cap is to try and obviously hide himself. At the same time, sometimes when you're trying to do that, you can look a bit more suspicious. Have any of you been in the, it might just be being paranoid, but have you, any of you have been, if you don't wear caps a lot and you're wearing a cap, if you've been in the shops and you're like, you've just got your cap down, you don't really want to interact with anyone. And you're like, are people looking at me because they think I want to hide because I want to steal something or shoplift or whatever. If any of you felt a bit like that, I mean, and no one's actually looking, but you're kind of like, I wonder if they're going to think that I'm, you know, someone who shoplifts or something. Um, so, you, you know, there's that energy of I'm trying to hide, but sometimes you can actually look a bit more suspicious. And that thought that I just told you is because we think someone like that is more suspicious. It's like the stereotypes that we find. Um, he 
he's clearly from the pictures in the woods, not afraid of the woods, probably because the first time, and also being a serial killer. That's the other thing, yes. Um, some people, after they've committed the crime and they've stayed in the prison, I mean, this he's not stayed in the prison probably too long, given it was 2021 and then sentenced. Um, and shamans and energy healers know that people can go through a journey where they learn um, to see their perspe uh, the perspective and the uh, actual root motive of the crime or that at least some remorse. Um, I don't think he's there yet. And um, I'm just saying this from his energy. I don't think he's there yet. Now with the green cap as well, um, there's kind of like a smug look on his face. And I don't know if that's because like, yeah, I know there's a camera there. Um, yes, I've changed my look, like, you know, cause he knows that obviously he's gonna be on the camera. Um, and I don't know if that was taken outside of a house, but I, I would say that he's gonna be, and he has been scavenging a lot, okay? And the, the energy I feel from him is that, um, I made some other notes as well. One second. He's also um, in in the picture of the green. You'll have to catch the CCTV. He's got like he doesn't look scared at all. Like his demeanor's not scared, although he's got his hands in his hoodie. He's probably not looking to uh, make himself like out there, but he doesn't seem stressed or um, his energy is not stressed. It or he seems like he's quite relaxed, but he's very much knowing he needs to be aware of his surroundings. I felt like it was like he knew what he um, he knew what he was. What can I say? He, he, I feel like his movements are like, I'm familiar with what I need to do. It's like not test and trial. Um, and I do think big hints are like scavenging. And I think he did break into a home. Um, if I, if, if I don't, if I've not seen something that's mixed up with something else, I think he broke into a home and the husband or partner in the home was putting the lights on and off because he was like, I can hear the person. So I just wanted them to know. But apparently he um, he responded and put the lights on after he'd on and off and on and off. And then he put them off and then he put them back on. Uh, Daniello did. And when the, when, when the partner eventually went down or the husband, he found that the fruit had, that he'd bought that day had gone. So obviously trying to break into houses, get what he needs to eat. Um, maybe he also, in terms of the shave, has had to um, either break into a house. Um, it's not likely that he would have gone to family, but we never know. If you go to family, probably, I don't think he's gone to family. Um, so like scavenging, like I said, scavenging and then hiding out, scavenging and then hiding out. Bit like, is it foxes during the night? They come out they to do what they need to do and then they go. Um, but I feel like he's gonna come into um, increased desperation. So where he's probably had high energy, and I can feel it right now, high energy, even my breathing, to escape and get into the woods and stuff. It would have like calmed down a little. Was interesting energy that I'm picking up on but then he's going to come into a bit more stress now there'll be a phase where I feel like he's going to be stressed but if this gets dragged out I feel like he's going to go into a bit more of a, um, a lower energy if he's been feeling very high energy and stressed okay but it depends how long this is going to drag out 
I really feel my breath and my stomach right now. The police really need to pay attention to the patterns of his movements. So I can't understand like several sightings of him where he's not been caught and they know that he hangs out, he could hang out in woods, he's going to hang out in places where, you know, it's difficult to be found. But, you know, you're talking about a county of police that are probably on this and there is now a reward for him. So... I can't understand how it's 14 days. I feel like there's something here about this. Um, and as he, as we look at his movement patterns, like, is he scavenging? Where is he? Where was his last sighting? Um, and then I think there's going to be, if he's not already, he might actually contact maybe previous people he dealt with. Um, you know, whether it's, um, it might not be family, it might be people that he dealt with in the past. So he might have to, because he, he might have a phone now, but he, was, he might not memorize the phone number unless it's someone who's been able to call upon from prison. Um, and he might steal one of those phones, you know, that's destructible, you can just throw it um, and call, or he might actually visit that place. Um, and I think it'll be contacts where, you know, if he used to use drugs or whatever it is, those kinds of people that he might contact. Now, it depends if they want involvement in that or not. Um, there is going to be, I feel, a stress and psychological toll on him. Um, just like probably the people in the uh, surrounding areas of feeling, probably sleepless nights and yeah, not very, not in a, uh, highly stressed themselves at this moment in time. Um, and I think he's going, there's gonna be, um, I think there's a need to look at like, end game scenarios okay i think that's really that's really important um that's going to be important but like let's just look at how serious this guy is with a little bit more so he was 34 year olds a murder who escaped pennsylvania prison on thursday a week after he was sentenced to life in prison without parole and stabbing the ex-girlfriend so a week is not much, is it? A lot of people have been inquiring about Daniello and making various research on him on the internet. So he's a Brazilian national. He became the focus of massive manhunt in Pennsylvania a week after being sentenced in prison for a horrifying murder that took a, a dark turn that led a dark turn that led to notoriety on both sides of the Atlantic. He was born in Brazil, Cal. Cal Valacante's life took a tragic violent turn that led him down path of crime and destruction. April 2021, he 